If you feel like you are tired of sending out generic store-bought Christmas cards, but you feel like making your own personalized handmade cards is gonna just take too much time, then this video is for you. I have stumbled upon an ingenious solution that allows you to mix and match, design and create an endless array of stunning Christmas cards. And the best part is it only takes five super simple painting techniques. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. For supplies today, we need watercolor paints, clean water, a paper towel, and of course, watercolor paper. I've got here just a scrap piece of paper to demonstrate and practice the five painting techniques on, and then we'll move over to some nice card sized pieces of paper to start creating card designs on. I've got this number 10 round Artegria brush that I will be using for all of the techniques today, but if you have a bigger or smaller brush that works better for you, feel free to use what you're comfortable with. And as a side note, all the supplies you see me using today will be listed in the description of this video if you're interested in looking into that more. For our first technique, we're going to paint some simple and easy Christmas flowers. So let's put a little cadmium red on our tray here, then we'll put a little paint on the tip of the brush and paint five dots of color in a circle. Then I'll rinse my brush a little, but it's okay if there's still a tiny bit of color in the bristles. And then I'll dab it on my paper towel just so it's not too wet. And I'll use this damp brush to pull out that dot of color to form a petal shape. I'm painting these pretty quickly. I'm not trying to make the petals perfect or symmetrical or even. I'm just kind of going with the flow and letting the brush do the work for me. Then after the flower petals are all formed and while they're still wet, I'll take a touch more red paint and dab that in the centers of the flower again, creating a nice dark middle that's sort of gonna bleed and blend into the petal a little ways, creating a neat gradient of color. Now let's just practice these flowers a few more times to really get the hang of it. Also, really quick as a side note, make sure you stick around for the end of this video because I am going to show you several easy Christmas card designs using these techniques to help you get started. All right, for our second technique, we'll use this red paint again and learn how to paint some red Christmas berries. So first, I'll take a bit of cadmium red and paint a nice, fat, little C-shape for one half of the berry. Then I'll rinse and dry my brush, like I did with the flowers, and use the damp brush to pull some of that color to form the other half of the circle or berry, leaving a tiny white space or circle for a shiny highlight on the berry. Now, if it helps, you can draw the circles for these berries with a pencil so that you have some lines to work within, but freehanding them is fast and easy too. So let's practice several of these berries to get the hang of it. And in my opinion, these berries are one of the funnest, festive techniques of the five we're learning today. They always give that feel and look that just says Christmas on your cards. Okay, next up for the third technique, let's paint a super simple pine cone. I'm going to use some burnt umber for this. Then once as I've got my color, I'm going to load my brush, then basically use it like a stamp. I'll start with the tip on the paper and then position the brush in the direction I want and simply press down on the bristles to leave behind an imprint of the brush head. Then I'll do that over and over again overlapping the stamp slightly to create a pine cone shape. Then to top it off, you can connect the top stamps together with a little bit of paint. All right, let's try this again. I find these little pine cones really fun to do. And the best part is that even though they are super quick and easy, they really look good too. All 
All right, let's get a little hooker's green on our tray for the fourth technique. This time, we're going to practice some simple pine needles or pine branches. So for this first part, you can choose to use either green or brown. This is for the branch that the needles will stem off from. And it's kind of fun to make it curve slightly instead of have it just be at a straight line. Then I'll take some of this green paint to paint the needles. And a tip to help keep your lines thin, after you dip it in the paint, just lightly dab the side of the brush on a paper towel to take off some of the excess water or paint. And then very gently and lightly use the very tip of your brush and paint on some thin pine needles. The best way to do this is to use quick movements. Choose your spot and the way you want the needle to curve or bend and then just go. Don't think about it or try too hard, just light, quick movements. As a side note, while we work on this, since Christmas is getting closer, I have put out another fun video today featuring my top favorite gift ideas for an artist. I think some of these things I show will definitely be a surprise. Some of them are not what you expect, and maybe some of them you have never even seen before. But trust me, as an artist myself, I think you will like some of these ideas enough to put them on your own Christmas wish list this year. I will make sure to post that video at the end of this tutorial, so make sure to check it out. All right, for our fifth and final technique, we're going to practice painting some holly leaves. I'm going to use sap green for this and then add in just a touch of cadmium red to create more of an earthy green color. Then I'll start by painting the outline shape of the leaf, which has jaggedy and pointed edges that curve outward. Then I'll just fill that outline in with some green paint. Then after it dries, I'll add in a vein line that runs through the center. After you feel like you've gotten these five techniques down, now comes the fun part, mixing and matching them together to create simple but beautiful Christmas cards that you can whip out in just minutes. The great thing about this is that you can really make it as simple or complex as you would like. You can just pick two of the techniques or you could try four or five. The possibilities really are limitless. It just takes a little thought and creativity. I'm going to really quickly try painting a few of these to get your ideas flowing. But full disclosure, I haven't actually practiced any of these yet. I'm just winging it, so hopefully I get some that turn out okay. Also, as a side note, as we're working on some of these, I'd like to show you a few images of my most popular Christmas tutorials from last year, just in case you're interested in seeing more. This first one can be used as a lovely card or just a household decor option. It's pretty, but it's not too hard to do. In fact, there are a lot of elements to this that we're practicing right now today. And although I do teach you in this tutorial how to sketch the outline for this, I also have an 8x10 as well as a 4x6 and 5x7 card size printable outlines for sale on my Etsy shop, which I will list in the description of this video if you're interested. This next one is one of my favorite Christmas wreath tutorials. There's really no drawing required, and I show you how to freehand it. But I do also have a printable outline of this for sale on my Etsy shop as well. And this last one I'm showing you also is a no drawing required video. And I love this one because I teach you how to paint snow without actually painting snow. So you'll just have to watch it to see what I mean. If you choose to subscribe to my channel, you can see and watch any and all of my Christmas tutorials to find out for yourself which ones are your favorites. But I will also put links to these specific three tutorials in the description of this video.
Well, I hope some of these card ideas got your imagination flowing today. I can't wait for you to give this a try for yourself. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.